applications. WMB160 offers us a real view into the sea. The accuracy and stability offers the user all the data needed for safe, efficient and profitable boating. The application for WMB160 is limitless and only restrained by our imagination. Commercial fishing. The ability to see underwater structures is especially useful for fishing operations where pots have been placed. The ability to actually see the structures where the crayfish live or the sandbank where the crab dwell means the commercial fisherman can place his pots quickly and efficiently. He no longer has to maneuver backwards and forwards to find the rocks or bank with a sounder that can only see a small patch just under the vessel. Now he can sail right up to the rock or bank. It's displayed on the screen even if he's not exactly over it and he can place the pots exactly where he believes the best place to be. Look at the stray rocks. Yep. And, you, and, and for saving you going up and down, up and down, up and down, your triple beam covers a lot more ground, a lot easier to find. Right, and you just know where you are all the time. That's yeah. why the, the, the quickness of it. The vessel is indicated in relation to the structure at all times. The skipper really knows where he is. And once the pot is placed, he can set sail directly to the next structure. A bit like looking across a valley to a tree to walk to. On land, we don't have to use a compass and map if the destination object is clearly visible to us. The same is true with WMB160. For the trawlerman, the benefits are even more obvious. The ability to select the fish finding parameters means that with one pass they can see exactly where the fish are, and at the exact depth, and they can see any underwater obstructions. Once the area has been properly 3D mapped, the skipper can increase the fishing area by trawling closer to structures than before without the risk of snagging. So yeah, we'll be able to chart the rocks better, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's hard to do that with a sounder. Um, this way, plus you'll be able to build up a map of the area. And once you've got that information, once you've got you for us, once we've got once we know where we can get away with the shots on the plotter, it's um, you know, you just um, bring up the disc on the plotter and there's keep shooting the same shots, you hardly have to look, so it's, it's just building up the knowledge of the bottom. They can simply see and look where they're going. The increased efficiency in fish finding and accuracy and location of underwater hazards for the nets, provided by WMB160, simply equates to increased productivity. And with both the pot fisherman and the trawlerman seeing where they're going, and where they want to go means greater profitability. Recreational fishing. Charter operators as well as private boat owners rely on local knowledge and modern electronics to provide the best possible scenario to catch a fish. With WMB 160 the odds have just been shortened considerably. Yeah, with the use of the WASP once you've been through and mapped your whole area that, you, that you're working in and operating from from then on, you pinpoint accuracy to every spot you want to go to. Um, it allows it's going to save you a lot of time, maximise your uh, customers' fishing time out there. Uh, you're not searching around the ocean looking for a rock, you know, knowing it's in the area and having to find it on the sounder. With the wasp, once you've once you've mapped your whole area, you can go straight to it, pinpoint accuracy. Now you simply drive up, drop the anchor, and drift back to exactly the place where you want the boat to be and the whole time you can see exactly where you are. WMB 160 will revolutionize how we fish. Dive operations. The ability to find great dive sites for the dive charter operators means spending time in the water, and that will never change. However, WMB 160 now allows the operator to quickly explore new ground and make decisions on where to physically explore based on real and accurate information and the ability to find and chart underwater structures and wrecks will make dive operations so much more effective. Other applications. Marine archaeology will benefit greatly from WMB 160. The quick and efficient way that the unit charts and maps the bottom means that searches for wrecks and structures can be done up to 30 times quicker. That means that the actual cost of locating the wreck is already reduced by a huge factor but the unit takes it one step further. The accuracy and precision of the three-dimensional imaging as well as the added bonus of side scan sonar and back scatter allows the archaeologist to build a very accurate picture of what's down below. This means 
decisions can be made before the time-intensive practice of ROV or divers to film the wreck is undertaken. The three-dimension imaging also allows the skipper to anchor the vessel in an appropriate spot from the archaeological site and allows the dive team to see the relative position of the site to the dive vessel. The dive team simply swims straight to the site and know beforehand what part of the site they want to explore. Search and rescue, salvage, police and the Navy will all be benefactors of WMB 160. The ability to determine bottom hardness with backscatter will make the search for both hard and organic materials so much easier, especially in silty situations. The ability to once again build a three-dimensional image of the search site and to track the search grid will highly increase efficiency and will ensure more positive search results. The world of WASP is only just revealing itself to us. The applications are only limited by our imaginations and the team at e l is consistently updating and exploring new ways to apply WMB 160 and to better it. As hard as that may seem. And that's basically where we want to be. Cutting edge technology. Mm -hmm.